Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Judy Mann. I'm also known as the Habit Fixer and I love helping women over 50 to enjoy amazing health and well-being and self-confidence with EFT, which is a simple tapping technique, nutrition, skincare and digital products. And today I'm joined by Claire Thorpe. And if you don't already know her, she is a copywriter and a marketing mentor. And one of the things she likes to do is to make messaging more magical. Love that, Claire. And today she's going to be talking about habits for crystal clear copywriting. And who doesn't want that? So over to you, Claire. Hi, Julie. Thanks so much uh, for the introduction. Um, so yeah, today I want to share a few tips around that crystal clear message so your clients, your ideal clients can feel like they've been working with you already for lifetimes. Who wouldn't want that, you know, because that's what we want is really aligned clients. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about, there's a few C's going on here, crystal clear, and I'm Claire. Um, so I'm going to talk about a few C words, not like that. <laughs> so the first one, <laughs> the first one is connection. So as I mentioned, I love to write copy. I've spent far too many years writing drab coffee, uh, coffee, <laughs> copy for the corporate world. Um, but that's another story. So what I love to do is um, first and foremost, focus on connection in your copy. So that can be several things. So that can be things like making sure that your tone of voice is consistent, making sure that you're coming across as you in anything you write. So what I'm talking about in copywriting is the written communication in your business. So I know some people struggle with this and like, oh, I can't write this down. So a little tip could be that you could actually record it and listen, you know, or chat to a friend to help you get into that flow. Um, but whatever you're writing, whatever you're putting out there, whether it's on your website, on socials, really think about that connection and that person that you want to connect with. So what I like to also think about as a little analogy to this is welcoming someone into your home. So, you know, you might meet someone out on the street, you might meet someone at a party. We can think about this in our customer journey as like the social media world. So, you know, you want to be inviting, you want to build that emotional connection, you want to build that spark. And then you might invite them around, you might invite them to your home. Um, how does it feel when someone walks into your home? And this is what I think about as our website, that next step in that journey. So in your copy, is it letting people know a little bit more about you, what it's like to be in your home? So really nurturing um, and really being clear. And also, I just want to touch on desire driven messaging. So here I'm talking about creating this wonderful connection. What I see quite a lot of is fear driven messaging sometimes. So we get to the website and it focuses on things that maybe your ideal client doesn't want so their current state potentially um so take your business julie for example like emotional freedom technique um you know we we want to focus more on the desire the de desired outcome so rather than starting your copy with do you feel stuck do you feel frazzled do you feel this you know all the pain points which obviously does help people get that emotional you know we can trigger people by either like fear sort of lower vibrational messaging or start with that desire so I would focus on that desire as well when you're building that connection so what does your client want to move towards so talk about that first of course you can talk about that little later you know it's like you know if you're currently feeling a bit like this I've been there I've I, you know I, I've felt that so yeah just have a little look at a little audit maybe around your own website your own copy what you're writing um, and yeah think about those desire what that desire because we want our clients to feel open expansive excited to work with us um and the title of this of course is crystal clear so the next c is clarity so this is i guess more of the formatting of your copy so getting rid of all those long paragraphs, <laughs> the long, you know, um, there's plenty of tips out there. I could go on about this, but, you know, um, the formatting of your copy, website copy. I keep coming back to website copy because this is what I do a lot with clients is breaking that down. Really, you don't want a paragraph more than 50 words on your website at each time. So each paragraph or each statement should focus on 
one thing, one outcome, one desire, um, one service, maybe. So just 50 words. So have a little look today, maybe at that website or at your posts, at your blogs. And I've literally spent a lifetime, <laughs> you know, even chunking down those long sentences. Can you actually make that a little bit sharper, a little bit neater, a little bit more clear? Can you take a step back? So when you write something, have a breather, come back. Have you been repetitive in any places? Um, again, I see this a lot. You know, I help people with this and da, 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 da. da. And then later down the page again, I help people with this. And it's pretty much the same. So again, just taking a little time to really think about, are you being clear in what issues you solve for your client and how do you do it? So really short and simple. If you've got loads of services, <laughs> put them on different pages. But, you know, it's that... Um, that feeling of just being really clear, really calm when they come um, and read your copy. And then the final one, the final C is, I've mentioned it already a few times, but consistency. It's the boring one, it sounds boring, but consistency is really important. And what I mean by that is maybe even taking a little audit of your communications. So something I do is a customer journey communications audit which is going through all those stages of your journey that I've mentioned about, you know, the, the social, getting to know you, getting to know more about you on your website, bringing them down into something like a podcast, an email, um, you know, a, a, a lead magnet, I hate that word, but, you know, like the, the download and then the newsletter. So just taking that real audited step and having a look at those communications and again, just reviewing this for, am I being consistent in the way I talk about my services, um, about the particular things I solve for clients? So repeat, repeat, repeat. We know that we need to listen. We need to hear, you know, in marketing, well, I think it's now like 15 times we need to hear a message because our, our attention is so distracted. So really make sure in all those communications you might have heard of the word content pillars or whatever those key things that you talk about. Make sure you're consistently talking about them. You might think you're talking about them too much. Other people got a load more information going into their ears all the time. Um, so, yeah, don't be afraid to play the consistency game. Um, and, yeah, just keep on point with your messages. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say, really. Yeah, it's just about being crystal clear, knowing your path for your ideal client and bringing in that love and that heartwarming connection. Oh my goodness, yes, I love that. And that was absolutely crystal clear, Claire. It's all about the C's today, isn't it? And I really love, you know, that you talked about connection particularly and alignment because I want to be working with people who really want to work with us, that people are aligned to who we are. Otherwise, it's going to be really, it's not going to make, work so pleasurable is it and um we don't want to be working with people who are going to be complaining I mean of course sometimes that happens but you know that's another C isn't it but actually we want to really really attract people who are perfect for us and we're perfect for them so thank you ever so much I really really appreciate that um I will put all of Claire's links below this video so do check them out and um Thank you so much, Claire, for, for sharing your crystal clear habits. That was absolutely brilliant. I need to go and do some things now, having, <laughs> so having listened to you. So thank you very much. And thank you, everyone else, for watching.